All right, guys, Josh Riddle, Ohio Fish Rescue. It starts uh, tank one of the maintenance day. So right now I am actually draining this Bellagio tank. We actually uh, medicated this last night, shut it off of the system. So now it's getting a uh, water change and I'm gonna get in there and scrub the uh, glass and whatnot. So this tank will be looking back up to tip top shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, we're up here on top of the Bellagio tank. I'm actually getting in. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside these tanks so you guys can see what I'm working with. All right, so there's one leg. Here's the little bit of room I've got to work with. And you guys can see this big, giant coral. You can see there's just a tiny bit of room on the back side. We went ahead and pushed it against the back so I can have as much room in the front to work with. But getting across that point right there, is the absolute hardest. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, sponge and clean the algae off this glass and I'm gonna get to work. All right, so I didn't get much film of me in there because I was too busy working, but here we are the next day. The tank's filled back up and it cleaned up. It looks absolutely stunning again. And by the time I got to the second Bellagio, we finally found a better way to clean these tanks. I was using a sponge and just going through and cleaning all the plates of algae off there and it took forever it took me about two hours just to clean this single tank over here and we came over to this Bellagio tank drained it this tank had algae a little bit worse because it's by the door so the, the sun's uh, the doors open the sun sh shines in and uh, you can see the, the back wall how much algae is there I leave that because you don't want to see that ugly white wall I'd rather have that covered in algae and it'll be uh, be better for the, the fish tank in the entirety. But went ahead in here and I used a, uh, actually the algae scraper off of my mag float. I went over the tank once and then I came back with my sponge. You guys can see it got a lot of dirt off into the water, but now we are working on refilling this tank now. We drained it out to about here. So I did this probably in about a half hour as opposed to two hours with the uh, last tank. So you know, even uh, people like us, we always find ways to make things better. So now this tank will end up looking like that tank sometime, you know, to tomorrow when it's back on and you know, it's filled up with the filtration back on it. But this tank is temporarily staying off the, the system. We notice some of the fish getting sick because of the puffer picking on them or whatnot. We removed the puffer, take this tank off the system and we treated it. So we made sure uh, the fish uh, had the, the, the best chance. Everyone's showing signs of improvement. So I have no worries about that, but we do have some more exciting news for you guys. All right, so we're taking a vote on if it's a boy or girl of all the family members here. Mom? It's a girl. Dad? Oh, she wrong. It's a boy. Dad? <laughs> Happy and healthy is all I care about. Got to pick one. Uh, what do you think it is? Neutral. I'm not picking. Red Michelle? It's a boy. It's a boy? Girl. It's a girl. 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 We only have girls. His family don't have boys. Yeah. So it's only boy. girls. It's hey, a girl. this family only has boys. So we, we got four, four for girl, three for boy, it's one a, new, neutral. So we're going to put that as, as a boy. Wait, I'm going to vote for uh, Richie. He's going to say boy, too. So it's four, four. All right, so. What about we, mom and dad? All right, so we've got, name is a girl. We, we already know I what know. it is. <laughs> so right here, we have a blue. And now what we're going to do, we're going to pop the balloon and it's not going to be dying up to the water. So... It's animal safe dye, don't worry. Alright. So, I just want you to know, I spent hours cleaning this tank last night so it could be this pretty, you know. He said... Uh, the balloon yeah. better his feet. Alright, you guys ready? There you go. Oh, no way. <laughs> I was sure it was a boy. I was sure it was a boy. I lost a hundred dollars to, to grandma. Wow, I was sure it was a boy. 
Yeah. Don't shush me. I, I, I. Got him. Oh, uh -oh. wow. We didn't hear nothing. Ask your dad. What did she say? I asked her if she married me. And she said, What? Yes. Can't hear you. Yes. <laughs> We got a new granddaughter and a new daughter. All right, so that that was some uh, happy news. What was it not? Well, I know you guys are all gonna say thank you and what what not, but it was very exciting. But back to the fishy stuff. So uh, we got the red zebrum here. We're going to end up tossing that in the Blasio behind us once he's finished with quarantine. Along with, we're going to keep this goby, and I'm going to try my hand again at the sun cats, and hopefully the, these ones aren't pricks. But we got the uh, red shoulder sets of zebrums. We got those uh, get given out to Jim Sheasley. He's going to come and pick those up down here so wait wait back up so that leaves this pick this cat here it's actually a full four line pim that one is able to be rehomed this big old pleco that jack dempsey i got someone coming to take this ma mammon parrot and uh that one can go right there as well down here we have just a few fish we're keeping we're keeping these cigar barbs or the the gold sharks whatever you guys want to refer to them as everything else can go wait 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 my dad wants to keep the uh, small biter, and there's a Delhezy biter in here somewhere that he wants to keep too. So up, he's right up there. So he wants to keep those, but all these different cichlids and whatnot can all go. Some of them look like some uh, flower horns. There's a striped Raffaella cat, and then there's all different kinds of plecos. There's bushy nose. You got albino bushy nose. And there's one other kind in here. I don't really know what, what it is, but they can all go. Down here is a tank of cichlids that came in uh, sick, so we're being treated, so those can't go anywhere. Down here, we just got some goldfish in today. So we got the big comets, of course, can be uh, get given away. You can see there's an ulcer on the side of that, that koi, so we're gonna have to get them thrown up. And my dad will probably wanna keep the, uh, the butt butterfly koi. And then these uh, fancy goldfish will join the goldfish out in the pond room. Uh, over here, we have a bunch of new arrivals. This huge, and I mean huge, stingray. This one's going to join our breeding colony. This tiger shovel nose, I have a public aquarium coming to pick up on Saturday, along with a silver arrow, a bunch of the Oscars, and uh, a few other things that are South American. This gar, however, can be, be rehomed. Um, we're going to keep the, the Giardini. He seems to have a very nice temper. But what's left of the Oscars after the Public Aquarium leaves can also go. There's a bunch of Plecos in here and probably the Tinfoil Barb. But th these guys have literally just came in, so they have not been quarantined. The fish look fine to me, but you know what? If you want to take them, that is on your own risk. At least the fish over there, I know that they've been treated and they are good to go. Over here, we got one more thing that we want to show you guys. Just came in today, pretty awesome. He's actually acclimating right now. And he is a little baby arapaima, probably about 20 in inches long. Look at him, super cute. He definitely looks healthy. He's starting to get some red on his tail. So definitely a healthy looking at Arapaima. We'll uh, fatten them up here being in this stingray tank because we feed them at least once a, a day. So I, I imagine he'll come into this tank and he will start shooting up really, really quick. You can see the fat bellies on all of these stingrays and they just eat and eat and eat and eat. All right, so while I'm here, you know I'm always uh, fixing stuff but the pump had uh, gone bad in Lavaca's tank that's why the water is low and uh, it's not getting uh, circulated water so it just has the FX5 and the sponge filter in there we got to clean out the bottom of her tank of course but now I'm gonna go and replace the pump with this beauty right here
right. You guys might notice that this uh, pond is low. That's because we're doing the water change on the Bellagio. So this is our re reservoir. So this will go lower until I shut it off and then this can fill back up. But not to worry. Now this pump probably still works, but I have to take it apart, make sure the uh, impeller's all right, and everything like that. So it's just easier to grab a new pump right now and get everything back running. And then I'll worry about the other pump. Get out of here from my toes. <laughs> You know, some of you might say, well, why don't you just grab a screwdriver and undo that hose clamp while it's in the water and it's rusting and I can't do it. So I just push it on over. That should be good. In. There we go. It's there. Now, the tricky part, plug in electricity while you're in the water. Smart, right? No. Not to be worried about. It is a GFCI protected plug, so I have no worries about it. Now this can come out. This is actually an expensive pump. It is a Laguna. Just probably some sand or dirt got stuck up in the impeller. I'm able to smack it and it comes on. So uh, I just got to take it apart and see what's going on with it. Beautiful Arapaima. See, there's no nicks on, on his fins. He's not disproportionate. He did a really great job at growing this guy out. You can even see in his belly, he was giving him lots of food. And you can also tell that by the coloring on his tail. That's uh, kind of rare for an Arapaima this small to have that much red on the tail. They normally don't start showing up until they're about like 30 inches or so. So he did a really good job. Now my tank glass on the other hand, it needs some cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the tank is now treated and has the medicine in it. It's gonna go for one more night. You guys seen a little bit of fish coming in. Some good news with the fiance and I. <laughs> and uh, you got to see some new fish come in. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vi video. We've got plenty more coming, lot, lots of work being done. It's supposed to be up in the 50s for the next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you in the next video. Stay fishy, my friends.